welcome back to my channel. Today we talk about animal testing and what shocked me the most when I found out how many products and how many brands actually still test on animals. The fact that businesses still confine, breed and torture innocent non-human animals was beyond my imagination always and I never thought or never wasted a thought on that it was me who was funding this industry by buying the products. There's lots of information, but there's also lots of secrecy around the topic of animal testing, which makes it really overwhelming for most people to understand and also to filter what's important and what's true information and what's false information on the topic. And that easily gets you confused, like what to believe and what not, and what to do and what not to do, and what brand to support and what brand not to support. If someone had asked me years ago if I was against animal testing, I would have said, of course, like who's not against animal testing? Who's not against the torture of innocent sentient beings who get uh, liquids dropped on their skin, shaved and hooked up to injections? Like this didn't make any sense to me that anybody would actually be for animal testing. And at the same time, if somebody would have asked me what brands of products I'm buying, I think 90% of those products were still brands that are testing on animals. So I have to say like I, it, it doesn't make any sense that I didn't make the connection back then. So I was against animal testing, but I was still buying products that were testing on animals. So I, the only, reason I was still buying those products, I think, was that I was highly, and I'm not going to lie to you, highly influenced by advertisement. Um, those advertisements on, on TV where they say, okay, um, you get the perfect skin if you use this and that product. And I was so blinded by the message they are trying to bring across that I didn't question anything they were doing as a brand and as a, as a company. And um, I also have to say, because I also used to work more in advertisement, but they are playing with the insecurities of people because they're, you know, they, they always tell you, okay, you'll be, you'll, you'll, you will look younger, you will look more um, fresh, <laughs> I don't know if I can say it like that, but, um, and you, you will have more fun and be more carefree if you use their products. This is, of course, um, concerning beauty products, but they also try to uh, play with what is causing pain to you. For example, for medication, you know, like a lot of medication, the pharmaceutical industry is still testing on animals and it's, it's horrific. And even though there are vegan products already out there, they're not advertised as such. And just quickly going back to making that connection, um, being against animal testing but still buying products that test on animals, I can't explain to myself why all of us don't make this connection even though it's such an obvious connection. And um, I can just say it's like with the consumption of animals. We know that animals are getting murdered for uh, meat and they get like most of us probably don't know and I didn't either that animals get exploited for milk and, and eggs but uh, this is also how anim the animal testing the animal industry is working with animal testing like you don't see those photos um, of, of the rabbits in the labs and if you see them you just don't put them together with the product like that somebody would actually do this to an animal uh, for mascara for a skincare product for medication and for household products just to name a few um, and I think out of what I remember is that I also never thought okay this can't this is not happening in my country and uh, in the the stores that I go they would never have brands that would allow this to be done to non-human animals so I was giving the responsibility to somebody else and of course I was not conscious about it so quickly about animal testing, millions, millions of animals dwell in tiny little cages, stocked on top of each other, um, taken out to get their skin shaved and get injections and get implemented uh, toxins and substances and even like textures to test on them. And those innocent animals never know freedom and they never will if we still keep on paying for this product.
I don't want to talk too much about the practices uh, that are done to non-human animals, but more about uh, the practical um, point of view, like being aware of what products are tested on animals and how for you to choose um, vegan and cruelty-free products. I think that's more important because you're the consumer and you should know what to look for and where to find information. But just to quickly talk about the history of animal testing. So we have to go back to the ancient Greeks where they started testing on animals for um, to explore the anatomy of non-human animals and also to see how the body reacted and is was functioning or is functioning and uh, they also did surgery on non-human animals before they started doing surgeries on human animals this of course doesn't justify anything that has been done to animals because out of an ethical point of view i think taking away somebody's bodily autonomy is never ethically justified and but of course there were like the times were different than the times are today and we are in 2020 and we have so many different alternatives to testing on animals like uh, we have human cell skin tissue we can test on and that's much more closer than any animal would actually get to human skin or human human um, general like the general body and the functions of the body because even though animals non-human animals are very close to the characteristics that we have they may not have the same uh, diseases or or may not get the same diseases and may their bodies may not react the same way than ours do so which makes animal testing unnecessary and one time I've written a post about this and told people, you know, that, that what I could find out was that companies only test on animals to say, okay, we tested on animals, so this product is okay and you shouldn't get a reaction. So out of a legal, out of a legal perspective, they're like on the safe side if they tested on animals because the animal didn't have any reaction to it, so you shouldn't have any. So this is kind of messed up. It's just about like legal legal things and just trying to say okay we tested on animals and it doesn't make any sense doesn't see anything uh about the product besides that they are testing on innocent animals and this is morally and ethically not justified so it's just not necessary anymore in 2020 to test on animals and so let's get to the products that i personally never thought of are tested on animals and are not vegan um there are a couple and I, I honestly don't know where to start like um, from makeup products to skincare products to household supplies to perfume to cigarettes to tampons and I couldn't even believe it that uh, tampons are tested on animals it's absolutely horrific I did some research on it and I found out that tampons are inserted into the vagina of a female non-human animal and they just leave it in there to test them on TSS toxins and chlorine bleach and uh, it's I was just shocked because not only do they do they insert them into an innocent being but also this is what we are inserting in our bodies and it's just horrific and what I also find out found out is that uh, they inserted some textiles into the neck of the animal to test how the skin and the, the skin tissue was reacting to those toxins and those liquids and and textiles so why was i never questioning the makeup brands that i bought or the cleaning supplies that i bought on one hand like i said before it's conditioning so we're not conditioned to question most of our actions and reflect our habits and reflect our traditions and convenience and convenience is one of the biggest things that uh, people name as a justification when it comes to consuming animals or not thinking or questioning um, if products were tested on animals and I also caught myself being super convenient because I just went to the store and bought whatever I, that was there without even looking deeper into the information and ingredients and um, yeah because I 
on one hand didn't know and on the other hand I remember I saw it as a big work and big time consuming thing to do but little did I know so it's not really that hard so I think the important thing is to also ask yourself if you put makeup in your face that was tested on non-human innocent animals um, how beautiful can you feel if you know that this certain product or this brand, this company is testing on animals that are taking those animals out of those tiny cages to keep them in, like I said before, shave them, give them injections and put them under a lifelong torture until they die an early death because out of exhaustion, depression and just their body shut down. And the same goes for household products. How clean can your apartment be um, when you're using products that are tested on animals? I always have this picture in my mind, like when I use this, if I would use this um, non-vegan, for example, cleaning supply again, which I never will, but if I would use that and just like swipe my floor, um, I would like I had the picture in my mind is like, okay, I'm swiping the floor with the blood of somebody else. And it's just, it was shocking to me when I thought about that I used to buy non-vegan products. And I pledged to myself that I'm never ever going to pay for direct suffering of non-human animals anymore, ever. So what can you do to watch out what kind of products you're buying? So um, I think the most important thing is to do research and um, I think it's hard to kind of get into research, but that's why I'm leaving a couple of really useful links down in the description box for you so you know, okay, where to start. Um, when it comes to vegan labeling, there is like an official labeling and then there's other labels that, for example, say cruelty free or say vegan. And um, I think it would be way it would consume way too much time to explain everything to you right here. This could make another video. But in the meantime, I link down below um, one of my most favorite pages and they explain the difference between vegan and cruelty free. And yeah, so look for the vegan flour. I think a lot of people know this vegan flour and uh, this means that they are certified as a vegan cruelty free product. What you can also do is just ask me Write me a comment down in the description box and I'll answer you any, anything you want to know. If you, I mean, we don't have the same products in my country as you might have in your country, but I can definitely help you to find online stores that sell vegan makeup products or cleaning products or whatever. Medications is a little bit more different and a little bit more uh, complicated, but I'm sure you'll figure that out yourself as well. And yeah but I'll be happy to help you however I can. But what you can also do if you don't find uh, the information if a product is vegan or not, is that you just choose a different brand and which you can research is vegan. For example, go to the internet, go to your browser, type in vegan tampon brand <laughs> and you'll find so much information about vegan tampons and where to get them and uh, most of the time you find a shop that is offering um, this product and yeah that's how easy it is um, <laughs> so yeah to sum it up um, please inform yourself about animal testing and uh, question everything. I think this is what I've learned the most is to truly question everything that I buy and this also got me more awareness of things that I actually need because I was somebody who used to buy things even though I didn't need them or could easily have switched to something else and thinking about the tampon again for example buying one of those menstrual cups which you also have to look for to buy a vegan one because there's vegan and non-vegan ones um yeah so all in all and to bring this video to an end because it's already been really long again uh please be aware that animal testing is still happening wherever you are all around the globe and we need to stop and ban animal testing because it's just not it's just it's just horrible and we can't justify it 
If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss my next recorded and uploaded videos. Um, if you want to support the activism that I do, um, yeah, support this video by, like I said before, thumbs up or a comment down below and subscribing, but also you can purchase one of my vegan activism shirts and I will also link the shop down below for you in the description box. And yeah, that's it and I'll see you next time. Bye.